All right, we have some soggy soakers working their way into uh, the I-29 corridor there at exit one at the Dakota Magic Casino. The roads are wet and kind of a soggy night. Not a lot of thunder and lightning with these showers. And as we take a look at the latest radar right now, we're seeing those showers making their way from south to north, primarily staying in the eastern portion of North Dakota right now, uh, along and south of Interstate 94. They are moving north at a clip of about 30 miles per hour, where you see the dark yellows and oranges. And from time to time, we've even seen some red pixels there some briefly heavy showers of rain. They're moving into Valley City right now, southward in through the uh, Lisbon area. Gwinner seeing showers push north of your area right now. And here is the Dakota Magic Casino exit one, a wide swath of heavy showers still set to move through that area. Here sits Fargo. They're not at our area yet, but they are on the way. And again, they're moving northward at that 30 mile per hour clip. We'll put them upwards uh, towards the Cooperstown area in the upcoming hour or so. And then if we track these showers near Lisbon, those will be pushing up toward the Tower City and Castleton, Mapleton areas here in the upcoming hour or so. So we take a look at the big picture. Here's that big swirl we talked about last night that's kicked some energy our way. That's causing our showers. But because this is a very large and slow moving area of low pressure, we'll remain unsettled for the next uh, bit of time. More on that in a moment. Right now, as we take a look at your current conditions at Hector, we're still in the 60s in Fargo-Moorhead. We still have winds from the south, and from time to time, they've gusted over 20 miles per hour, so a little breezy out there. Pressure falling rapidly with the approach of the rain showers. As we look up north where the rain is staying away and the skies are clear, that is where we forecast the best chance at 70s, and we're seeing a couple of those right now where you see the oranges. Grand Forks 68 degrees, Bemidji 63, and it's 10 degrees cooler where those showers are falling in our South Dakota and Southeast North Dakota counties at this hour. Here is the hour by hour forecast. And as we uh, put things into motion from the five o'clock hour, these showers will continue their trek northward. They kind of fall apart once they hit about that Highway 2 corridor and points north. So if you are in Wahala and Cavalier, Pembina, I don't think you'll have much of a chance at seeing any significant rainfall at all. You may get some sprinkles out of the deal. Between now and 10 o'clock, though, most of those showers will be focusing on the Red River Valley and our southern counties. Now, if you're in Crookston and Grand Forks, your chance of rain really increases once we get to the 10 o'clock hour. But down south, we will have passing showers throughout the evening for most of our area. In Fargo, I expect the best chance of rain after 6 p.m. Now, as we go through the overnight hours, the best chance of rain will be on the Minnesota side of the river, and we'll start our day with hit and miss sprinkles of rain. Those will last until I pause this at the two to three o'clock hour. We'll still have a chance before they vacate the region, making the best time of the day your dinner hour with temperatures that will kiss 70 degrees in many of our western counties. Clouds and a few morning sprinkles in Fargo. The afternoon and the evening look to be the best time of the day. That dinner hour, sunny and delightful. The wind won't be too much of a big deal either. Hometown forecast, anywhere you see orange, temperatures will be lovely and near 70 in the afternoon. Still some lingering clouds out to the east will limit your heating. Beautiful shot here. Crepuscular rays in Kent. Jane, thanks for uploading your photo. Sunday, a whole lot better. Temperatures near 70 in Fargo. And then we warm it up for next week. Callie, I'm expecting near 80 for many on Monday and Tuesday. A dry, cool front comes through on Tuesday, cooling us for the rest of the week. But no snow. Oh, I love it. Good. I'll take no snow for as long as possible. Good. <laughs> thanks, Hutch.